Hi there! In this video, I am explaining how to resuspend primers and probes for QPCR for soil transmitted helminths, how to prepare the master mix solution, and how to load the PCR plate. On the left there is a suggested but non-exhaustive list of the components you will need for the pre-PCR setup. Before you do any pre-PCR setup, make sure the concentrations of your primers and probes are where you need them to be. The recipes found in the SOPs for the QPCR detection of soil transmitted helmets are all based on 10 micromolar concentrations. See the SOP for more details in preparation and details in sequences of the primers and the probes. References and published sequences are also found at the end of this video. This clip is for unresuspended oligos and how to bring the oligos into your working concentration. First, spin down the lyophilized tubes. Then take the number showing you the yield in nanomole and multiply it by 10 to add the required volume of 0.1 XTE to bring the primer or the probe at a concentration of 100 micromolar. This will be your most concentrated stock. Once you add that volume of 0.1 XTE, resuspend by pipetting up and down. Once you're done, you can flick the tube and spin it down. Then make a working stock of that primer or probe by creating a 10-fold dilution into a new clear tube. For example, you can add 50 microliters of a 100 micromolar primer or probe stock in 450 microliters of nucleus-free water for a final concentration of 10 micromolar. This will be your working stock. Also, make sure you wrap the 10 micromolar stock of probe in foil to prevent exposure to light. The working stock will be the one that you'll be using for all recipes found in the SOP or our published work. Before any PCR setup or primer probe work, it's best to UV the work surface for at least 30 minutes. Whilst your working station is being UV'd in a closed cabinet, you can take your working stocks of primers and probes and reagent mix, along with water, out to thaw on ice. Make sure your reagents are not exposed to any UV light.
Follow the recipes in the QPCR SOP or published work to work out the volumes required for each reagent, as the primers concentrations needed per STH are slightly different. Once all the reagents are in, meaning your primers, your probe, your water and your polymerase mix, flick the tube, spin it down and prepare the repeat pipetter to aliquot 5 microliters of master mix into each well. I'm using the repeat pipetter M4 by Eppendorf for speed and convenience, but you can use any pipette. Once you have loaded the master mix in all wells, take the plate, cover it in foil and keep it cold for a brief amount of time, or ideally take it immediately to your station to add the DNA samples and standards. Do not forget to clean all the surfaces at the pre-PCR setup and UV the workspace. 